Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. It, it turned out to be an absolutely amazing day. Did you get a chance to enjoy lunchtime? Remember I mentioned yesterday that lunch would be amazing. I was outside about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. No wind, blue skies, birds chirping, comfortable temperature. The sun was warm, just beautiful. 62 degrees right now, humidity 30%. Now the wind is now north at 15. As I mentioned, a cold front would come through. So the breeze has picked up, but we now have a northerly breeze. But when a north wind blows down over the Boise front into the valley, that's actually a warming breeze. So it counteracts the fact that a cooler air mass is trying to move in. So we're going to hover with our temperature around 62 for a little bit, and then we'll see that drop overnight tonight. Of course, temperatures dropping over the next few days here. Who we see it on our 10-day chart? We're up at 62 today, down to 53 tomorrow. So noticeable change with that cooler weather coming in. But dry for tomorrow and Friday. The breeze will be very light tomorrow. It'll be a little bit of a breeze. May pick up a little bit more tomorrow afternoon from the opposite direction. Friday afternoon, that is. Then, and here it is, Saturday and Sunday, a 40% chance of showers. Tough to get the timing in on when all this is going to happen, but snow is going to start to fly in the mountains. The temperatures are going to be dropping. The highest point, our temperature hits 50 most of the day over the weekend. Uh, both days, temperatures will be in the 40s. So it will be a chillier weekend. The breeze could pick up as we head towards Sunday and Monday. We make it snow showers Monday morning with these below normal temperatures. Tries to warm a little Tuesday, but it's only a slow warming. And look at this, 30% chance Monday, 20, 30, 20. These are chances of precipitation next week as well. And for eastern Idaho and central Idaho, that could spell some snow helping out our snowpack and the ski areas. Highs today, 64 in Ontario. Same thing in Mountain Home, 61 in Twin Falls and Burley. Beautiful day. Got up to 66 in Rome, Oregon. So southeast Oregon, uh, extremely delightful weather in the mountains. Beautiful with temperatures in the 40s. There's been a little cloud cover up here as well. We have had a little bit of a, a breeze blowing. There's that system going by to the north that I mentioned. A cold front arcing down into the Treasure Valley, bringing that breeze as it's pushing through Mountain Home now. But behind this, there's a lot of clear weather. So this spells sunshine. The forecast for tomorrow, plenty of sunshine coming in. Just a little bit cooler, as I mentioned. And even on Friday, we'll have sunshine, then clouds increasing. And by Friday night, we could get showers. And here is this weekend. That's a big mass of clouds. And that's all going to be across the west and the northwest. A core of the storm system will dive down along the west coast but a portion of it will move inland, and that's what's going to be getting us. So look at the 24-hour temperature change at 5 o'clock. We're 8 degrees warmer than we were yesterday at 5 o'clock. Notice these temperatures here. Although the blue representing cooler over the last 24 hours, and that cooler weather will be sliding back on in from the north and west. So future cast showing mostly clear now in southwest Idaho. Tomorrow, nice, beautiful blue skies again, a little bit of breeze. Enjoy that sunshine and temperatures a little cooler, as I mentioned. Here's Friday, some cloud cover coming in. This is Friday at 4 o'clock. Our main storm will dive to the south. Another low pressure right here will shoot across central Idaho. Watch as we go into Saturday. This Friday night. This is Friday night. It shows rain at 11 o'clock at night. Then into Saturday, you see moisture rotating here. Now, it doesn't show precipitation over the valley. Uh, they call this the fool's clearing. Do you think it's going to be clearing? I don't know. Maybe you're a fool. I don't know. We'll find out this weekend. I think moisture is probably going to be rotating in here as well with snow in the mountains off and on through the weekend. We'll have that cooler weather. So the breeze picks up a little bit here as we go through the next few hours overnight at 9 o'clock tonight. You see a few, uh, some gusty breezes. But tomorrow, the wind not so bad. On Friday, the wind will shift to the southeast and will start to pick up later in the day. An amazing day in the Central Mountains with blue skies, temperatures getting into the mid 40s in McCall. How beautiful is that? Next couple of days are nice, but Friday night snow moves in and snow likely on Saturday morning as well. Through this weekend, ski areas, several inches of snow. Add in next weekend. And how about this? Wouldn't this be a sight for sore eyes if they got 20 inches of snow at Sun Valley's Baldy Mountain? That is a potential on the computer charts here over 10 days. We'll keep an eye on that in the meantime. Coming up tomorrow, temperatures in the 50s. We'll have sunshine, about 53 degrees in Boise. And my extended forecast brings the changes in over the weekend. Unfortunately, I just don't think that's going to change. We may not have an all-day precipitation event, but it will be cooler. It will be wetter and cloudier. They need it in the Wood River. They need it in Wood River, and they may be getting it next week. All right. Thanks, Scott.